Okay, dudes and dudettes, are you ready to do a little bit of reading with me? I'm ready. I hope you are too. Let's start with our vowel sounds. You ready? Eh, eh. Everybody say eh, eh. Here's eh, 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 eh. Here is ah, 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 ah. Here is uh. Uh, and here is ah, ah, ee, ee, Look how different. So much. There's not much difference between ee, 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 Let's try the word jot. J -a -t, right? Okay. Jot. Now let's change the a. Uh. We're gonna do some nonsense words here. Jot is, is a real word, like you jot something down, you write something down, but let's try um, change the a uh to i. J -i -t. Jit. Jit. That's a nonsense word. And how about Change the i to a, ah. j, a, ah. t, jat, jat. That is a nonsense word. Let's change the a ah to um, I don't know a, uh, j, a, uh, t, jut, jut. That's a real word. Jut is like you're sticking out somewhere. Let's see. We've done i. We've done a. Uh, now, ah, uh, eh, we done ah, uh, we did ah, uh, we did uh. Let's try eh. Change the uh to eh. From jut to ha <laughs> ha. Jet. J eh. T. That's a real word. Jet. Good. Okay. Well, I brought something for you today. You remember this book? Ox and Man. Now, you remember in this book, we've talked about sentences. We talked about the things that we look for when we read a sentence. And we're going to look at these in this book, Ox and Man. So, hopefully we don't can deal with the glare too much. There's, uh, do you remember this guy's name? Jin, was it? Jin? He's not having too much luck with that ox. Ox, ran, and ran. Now, let's talk about a sentence. What do we see in this sentence? We see a capital O, an uppercase O. All the other letters are lowercase. The beginning of a sentence always starts with a capital letter. What else do we see? The end of the sentence here. What do we call that? A period. This is a period. Sentences end with some kind of stop sign. Oh, I'm going to look for a stop sign before I do the math lesson. You see if I have the stop sign up here when I'm done with this. It's got to be around somewhere. This is the stop of the sentence. It says stop. That's the end of the sentence. Ox ran and ran. And when I say ran, my voice kind of goes down a little bit, telling me that's the end of the sentence. Listen to it. Ox ran and ran. Ran. Goes down just a little bit. Okay. And there's that picture. He's happy. Free, right? Happy and free. But, yes, I was, oh, no, Jin. this is Jin. What's that other guy's name? Bob? I can't remember. Okay. Read this one. Jin ran to him. Jin ran to him. What do we see right here? A capital J. Capital J. And then what do we see down here? A period. The end of this. Oh, nope. That's not a period. That's, you remember that name of that one? A comma. That means that the sentence is not over. 
something more is going to come. But we do have the peer capital at the beginning, and all the others are lowercase. There's Jin running to him. Mm. Now notice this does not have a capital letter because it is not the beginning of the sentence. This means the sentence is keeping going. But ox ran on. So we get this. Jin ran to him, but ox ran on. There's our stop sign, stop. Now, if you go back to this comma here, this comma is kind of like a yield sign. It means you slow down for a minute. Jin ran to him, but ox ran on. Hear that little, he's out of there. He is not going to help Jin out at all. Oh, Kim, Kim, how could I forget Kim? Kim had him. Kim had him, comma again. Look, it's a comma. That means more of the sentence. And there's from our cover, right? This is the same picture as the cover. Jim had him. He had him. He had him around the horns. He's holding on. I know what he's going to say on the next page. Predict? But Ox ran on. But Ox ran on. There's our stop sign there. Kim had him, but ox ran on. Now, you say here, wait, Mr. Burnett, this isn't the beginning of the sentence, but there's a capital letter. What's going on? Who remembers what we talked about with that? This is the name of ox. His name, somebody thought of a great name for him, ox. I should have named our Harry Potter, I should have named him Spider. <laughs> anyway, this is his name, and so he has a capital O but ox ran on stop sign, okay? Men fed ox. Nothing here, no comma, no period, nothing. Men, this is the girl, right? She's showing what? What's our classroom goal? Kindness. She's showing kindness to ox. Instead of running at him, grabbing onto him, She's going to feed him and led him. No capital letter here and no stop sign. No comma, no nothing. And led him. There she is leading him. And he's happy because she is kind to him. And led him and sat on him. Bam! the end. There's the end of the sentence. She sat on him. Why did he let her sit on him? Because she was kind. And now that looks like Kim. I'm pretty sure you guys are right. They're all in the same family. And now they're getting their, their field plowed. And I think there's nothing on there. Okay. Good deal. Ox and Man. I like that book. Now, have you been looking back here? Yeah, I got some words for you. Did you figure out what this word is? L -a -g. Log. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change log to lug. Are you ready? I'm going to change log to lug. I'm going to take away this aw sound and I'm going to put in you. Uh, l uh, g, lug, lug. Now I'm going to change lug to bug. What am I going to do to change it to bug? Take l away and put in b, bug, bug, b. Right? This is the b, b. Okay, now I'm going to change bug to rug. Take the beginning sound away again. So long, b. And bring in r, r, ug, rug. Now I'm going to change rug to rag, rag. So I'm going to take away the 
a and put in a rag. Okay. Now I'm going to change rag to wag. Wag. Let's take away the r sound and put in w. W ag. Wag. Now I'm going to change wag to wig. W ig. Take away the a. Put in i. Now I'm going to change wig to big. Big. Take away the w. I'm going to reach down here to get my b. B ig. Big. Okay. We're done with these guys. And now I'm going to spell yak. Yak. So I need y. I need a. And I need k. Yak. Now I'm going to change yak to yam. Yam. So I take away k. And I'm going to put in mmm. Yam. Now I'm going to change yam to jam. Jam. Take away the y. Put in j. Jam. Now I'm going to change jam to ram. Ram. Take away j. Put in r. Ram. Ram. Now I'm going to change ram to rat. Rat. Take away the m. Put in t. Rat. Rat. Now I'm going to change rat to sat. Sat. Take away the r. Put in now I'm going to change sat to set. Set. Take away the a. Ah. Put in. Oh, eh. I already had it here. <laughs> eh. Set. And last, I'm going to take. A, I'm change set to sit. Sit. Take away eh and put in eh. Sit. All right. Excellent. It's time for you to do your seat work now. Get your Tuesday packet here. And we're going to find 13.1. 13.1 gives you six words to write and you're going to put them in these six boxes. Now, when you bring this back to me, I want to see, these are the things I'm going to be looking for. Are your letters facing the right way, especially B's and D's? Are your B's and D's facing the right way? I'm also going to be looking, are you staying above the uh, foot line, unless you've got a letter that goes below the foot line? Are you staying between the waistline and the foot line, unless you've got something that goes above the waistline. Are you making your letters big enough to where they fill in between the waistline and the foot line? Now, little circles. F make those circles fill. Take your time. There's no race on this. There are six words on the back for you to do. And then I want you to do 13.2. 13.2 is easy. You look at the picture and you circle the word that goes with the picture. Be careful. Make sure that you look at all the sounds. They might try to trick you, okay? And when you finish that, you will be done with reading. And now it's time to go. See you later, Crocodile.